Hello, so today we will be studying about operator overloading and using friend functions. So why we need friend functions for op operator overloading? So let's see, let's have some type, say a complex number, say we have some complex number 2 plus say 3i. Okay, so I should be able to, to just get from user a complex number okay using say like this so it should be if I do C in and if I do suppose I have a I have a type I have a type say complex okay complex number C then I it has some fields like the imaginary part and the real part that we will be making our type so when I will be using C in like this then I need my real part and imaginary part to be assigned to the respective fields of the complex number okay and when I do C out C that means I want to print the imaginary and the real part of the complex number okay so let's suppose uh, let's suppose like complex number I will be describing I will be uh, working out the class first but we need to overload this operator for our complex number right so uh, suppose if 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 this is like this so int i and c in i so this thing is very much clear like you are getting an input uh, input as an uh, to this uh, integer okay so the Im input would be an integer okay but uh, this operator is not defined for the complex number okay so we need to overload this operator for this complex number as well okay so one thing we need to observe is that on the right hand side there is a complex number and on the left hand side there is a c in okay so that's why we need a friend function because it is on the right hand side complex number and on the left hand side it's it's uh, it's the c in or here it is c out okay so now let's define our complex type first and let's define the imaginary and the real part as well of the complex number so uh, see here so class complex okay so it's private the uh, member real and int imaginary okay so these are the real and imaginary parts now I'll make one constructor so in a public I have one constructor say complex let's take real and imaginary and now I have to define one global function because again the same reason the right hand side is the complex and the left hand left hand of the operator is the C in and C out okay so the stream objects so it should be I for define as in my operator and let's define me this operator first and here it is o stream out comma const complex ampersand c okay so this is my operator that i have defined here so uh here the the left hand side would be the complex the whatever i whatever the complex uh object I want I want uh, th this to give to this operator and on the left hand side it's the it's the uh, it's the you can say it's a uh, C out okay so o, o stream is there so that's why we have to take O stream as the first parameter and the second parameter which would be which would come at the left hand side of an operator is this complex object so it's been constant because I do not need to modify this uh, complex object and I have taken it by const reference okay now now again uh, this function should again return a stream because of the cascading thing so it's return it's returning a it's returning the what you say as the it's returning the same same stream object again uh, just that you can do a cascading so what I mean by cascading is that like this so C out C1 a uh, one complex number then C2 so if this returns again an O stream object then you can again apply this operator with it for this complex number so for the cascading feature you should be able to do this we have again 
post team returned back by the operator and now uh, if I make this as an as a as a as a like um, as a member a me member uh, function of this class so this won't be working so I have to make this a friend 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 function okay so so friend, why I make this as a friend is because that I need to access the complex uh, real and imaginary the private uh, members of this of this object okay of this class so that's why I need to make a make this as a friend so now I'll make I stream again operator and here would be I stream by uh, reference in comma complex by reference C so now here I have not taken a const reference because when I will be taking input I will be filling up this objects real and imaginary fields okay so again it's a friend function because I need to access its private members and um, since it's it would be on the right hand side of a of a uh, the object is on the right hand side of an operator and so that's why a global function is needed and friend why because uh, I need to access its private members so I declared it as a private members okay so this way we defined our class and a friend operator function so I need to overload this but before that let me uh, define this complex constructor here so it would be complex complex int real comma int imaginary and this real equals to real part this imaginary equal to imaginary okay so this is the thing so now let me define the operator so let me define this operator first so firstly let me uh, define uh, this so it should be I have this out so first I will be doing C dot real so firstly I am outputting the real part and then I would be outputting my say I would be doing plus I here and then I would be doing the imaginary part here so std okay and then I'm returning the ostream object what I've used to output to the std out so that it could be further cascaded okay so now I will be now implementing the the the, the ice stream and the you can say uh, operator for that to be used with CN so so operator this and I have a I stream object comma complex by reference C and so it should also return a reference to I stream here okay and so here we will be use std C out I will first ask the user to input the real part so I will ask real part or I'll just say enter real part okay and here the user will enter and uh, in this in stream I will take C dot real okay so that's why I'm not a const why because I, I'm just modifying its member fields okay and then I'll just ask the user enter the imaginary part and so here I will be entering C dot imaginary right and so after doing that I'm returning the in stream from the function okay so I have this operator this operator here and the complex uh, complex type which has two member fields the constructor to construct that complex number and then to you can take this is this you can use for uh, you can see out and this uh, you can use for with C in okay so it would be helpful to fetch the data to fetch to to uh, populate this complex uh, object fields and to output that real and imaginary part in 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 a user defined way so whatever way you define 
here whatever the kind you want to overload you can overload by the way you want to represent it okay so let me have a main function here and let's make a complex object c and i pass uh, let's say 2 comma 3 okay or let's part it that 0 comma 0 okay so that let me take from a user okay so so now uh, I'll, I'll take std c in c so yeah so here my operator will be used the right hand side would be uh, my complex object and you can see and the left hand side is my stream object so here c in so here I can uh, I'm using here so this operator function will be used okay so whatever I take now uh, number entered is so here I can use std c out and just I can pass straight away c object okay complex object so it would be the operator overload for this complex number would be called so this like this would be called and the stdc out would be this and my complex object which is a const reference passed by and so it will print the real and the imaginary in this format okay so now and let's return zero okay so i think this makes my uh, program so let's see if this uh, compiles perfectly so let me compile it g plus plus and here demo dot cpp and so it compiled perfectly so uh, let me let me run it so a dot exe enter the real part say 4 enter the imaginary part say 7 so here you can see that number entered is 4 plus i7 this is the format that i wanted uh, to be printed when i use this operator with my complex number so when you use complex number with c n then it's asking you to fill up the real and an imaginary part so whatever way you will ask or whatever the way you will uh, overload this operator it will behave accordingly okay and so the c out this is uh, printing the numbers in that format in which you overloaded that operator so i hope you enjoyed this session of this operator overloading and uh, it's pretty much clear like what how you can overload for your own types this is just an example so you can you can overload for your own types to fill up the member fields and to output those member fields uh, in your in your project or in your user defined classes so that's all i'll see you with a new video with a new lesson do subscribe and like thank you so much